Hello and welcome back. My name is Justin McClanahan and today we're going to be taking the seemingly ordinary hoodie that I thrifted and turning it into a custom made product. Let's get started. So I've been wanting to make some handmade clothing type things. I went and designed this t-shirt about a year or so ago and got them printed on these. Um, I actually have a couple available if that's something you might be interested in. But I came across this little DIY type of thing. I'll throw a couple images up here. Take a hoodie or sweatshirt or whatever, really, it doesn't really matter. And you cut out a simple design. I'm going to do one of my logos and then you simply cut out backing material and sew it on the back side. So then that image shines through. And I went ahead to my local thrift store and got a couple hoodies. I got a plain black. And then I got this kind of heather, dark gray mixture going on here. I'm not really sure what that's called. It's kind of like a heather gray where it has like darker speckles in it. I think it'll be perfect for what we're trying to do here. You want something kind of contrasting so it stands out and you can see what's going on. And this is exactly what I was looking for. But you can kind of tell what the plan is from those pictures. I'm gonna use, I actually have one of my logos cut out in this little metal sign that's part of another project I did, but it's perfect for what I want to do, which is basically just trace this out and use it as a template. And it's honestly the perfect size, even if I did it on like a, a t-shirt or something, awesome. But first things first, this is going to be our backing material and it's going to be quite useless after I cut that out. So what I'm going to do is set up my sewing machine and probably just cut one of these sleeves off for some practice material because I want to try and do a slightly different stitch than just what I normally do which would be just a normal straight stitch. I think it'll help with holding it together better and I think it'll look a little bit nicer but I've never done it so I'm gonna have to fiddle around and set up my machine so it runs right and then I also want to do a couple test pieces to see where I want to set that seam in farther from the edge or as close as I want. I'm not really sure, I haven't really tried anything like this before so let's get started. All right, so we did some practice stitches here. You kind of see what I got going on. This will be the, the black hoodie, and then this will be the insert of the, the graphic. And then it's kind of hard to see. You can see this kind of zigzag stitch. That's what I'm gonna go for, I think. And I'm gonna leave it about what you're looking at there. I might try to get a tad bit closer, but I think that's a nice safe spot. And then that edge can you know, if it frays a little bit, I think that would be all right for what we got going on. So now that I'm happy with these little test pieces and I'm happy with how this machine's set up, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the side to clear up some space. And we're gonna take our metal graphic piece, we're gonna lay it out on the hoodie, and we're gonna trace this real tight. Um, if you look at this, there's a lot of like jaggedness and sketchiness that's all a part of this. I'm not going to get that detailed, I don't think. I don't know, maybe I will. I might cut it out that detailed, but I won't sew it that detailed, obviously, because it's, I mean, with that zigzag stitch, it's going to be, you know, we're going to be able to leave a little bit of a gap and kind of play with all of that and make it still look nice. So let's get to all that, cutting out our pieces. All right, so even though I did keep that a little bit simpler than my actual design for my logo, it took quite a bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, if you do something like this, I wouldn't suggest anything this intricate. It's quite annoying to really get in there with the scissors, but you can kind of see what I'm going for right now. I kind of laid everything in place. Having something like this really helps lay everything out, especially when you have floating pieces like I do. I only have two little ones, which I wasn't really expecting until I started cutting. I was like, Oh yeah, of course, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But if you have something like this, you know, you can kind of place this and kind of use it 
to place these exactly where they need to be, which helps out a lot. But what I'm gonna do now is get this gray piece centered a little bit better. I don't have it exactly where I want it. And then once we do that, I'm gonna do just like quick glue, nothing crazy, but I do wanna hold these all these pieces especially these floating pieces in place while i'm sewing this thing up it's gonna it's quite a lot and it's gonna be quite a lot of moving this thing around back and forth scrunching this up so it fits into my machine and stuff i already can tell it's gonna be kind of annoying so i want the glue there to make sure it doesn't move or get weird or anything crazy oh and also i took my time cutting that piece out so now i have the opposite in a positive piece so i could do basically the same thing but backwards instead of cutting it out i place this on top of something else and sew this onto that which would be pretty cool so i'm definitely going to save this little piece and i'll probably do that for something at some point i think this is going to go fairly quick it's a fairly simple project so let's just move on to the next part we got all our panels glued up I let it sit overnight, uh, mainly just because I wanted to take a break from it. But either way, I would have set it down for at least a couple hours. Um, everything's on here really well. I used uh, a felt tacky glue. Um, it worked perfect for, for this. Now what we're gonna do is really just take our time and just start stitching this whole thing up. I feel like it's gonna take a decent amount of time. I don't really sew a lot, so let's see how it goes and then we'll get you those final shots. All right, so there you have it. Super happy with how this thing came out. I'm still pretty new to working with my sewing machine. I just got it a couple months ago and I haven't really done too many sewing tight projects. I've done a couple things where I've hand sewed stuff together, but nothing really quite complex and complicated like something like this or some of the other couple things I've done in the past couple months like a tote bag, uh, a custom rug, stuff like that. But I had seen something very similar to this where they they pinned the design, then sewed it, and then cut it afterwards to create the effect. But since I wanted to do my custom logo, which is kind of complex a little bit, I, I cut it out first and then we did it that way, which worked out pretty well for me. I wasn't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the beginning or not, but this is all thrifted material mainly because I wanted to try it out it's cheaper that way but also because I think that's cool if you can do that you know reuse some materials instead of buying new but I might dabble around with uh, I have a, a ferret logo that goes with this whole Sterico and everything I might try and put it on the, the front pouch or maybe just traditionally on the chest in the same way so who knows, we might come back and revisit this thing. But if you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up. It really helps. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe. I'm always over here creating some sort of art, decor, furniture, paintings. Who knows? Leave in the comments what I should build next. Or what kind of design I should try in this. See you on the next one.